Some things off, huh? What's going on everyone? Welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time here, please consider subscribing as we do everything RC related on this channel. This week on the workbench, I got the Armor Gorgon back on the bench. Just finished a brushless conversion on it and it got a new body. This is the Proline F100 already pre-painted. This was on my granite so it it's a perfect fit and it's a simple mod all you got to do is take the body post from the granite and they slot in right here bring over some hardware and just like that it's got a new body so I'd probably want to slide it up a little bit more but it fits like this on the granite really good so it's a good fit a simple mod the biggest weakness that I have come to see on videos and as you can see my bodies are a little bit mangled on the back but I haven't had any super hard crashes is that the body on the Gorgon is really weak I don't know, they said it's not even Lexan it's some kind of other material but it uh, it gets destroyed rather quickly so um, probably not the strongest element of the Gorgon but other than that um, this vehicle is fantastic guys, I really mean it. It drives really good for an entry level monster truck. Um, surprised on how it handles. Um, for a two wheel drive monster truck, it, it really jumps and, and drives really good. Um, outside of the body, addition, we did equip it with the, uh, the Spectrum ESC 100 amp. This is up to 3S capable. You will need your own receiver, so I paired it to the SLR 300 so I can keep the stock uh, remote on it. And this is a takeoff unit off my, a granite. It's a 3200 KV. Just cleaned up some wiring and uh, we put it with a 15 tooth pinion. So I think stock is 13. So, but basically, it's a super simple mod for the body or a super simple upgrade converting it over to brushless i did drive it already and i was i was blown away guys i love the way this thing drives and it's not overpowering on 3s it moves all right on 2s i like it on 3s uh also equipped it with a three a uh armor granite wheelie bar it's a direct fit just needs some hardware and that was it basically so um we are going to speed run it now so you can see how fast it goes brushless on 2s and 3s rip it around the street give you guys an idea if you convert yours to brushless uh how it will perform so let's not waste any more time let's get into it all right let's see what it does on 2s might not be much more than the brush motor Let's see what it got got a little body rub on it probably when it compresses but overall I think the body's a good fit for the car oh this is a this is actually a little cheap toy really yeah it's a it's hobby grade but it's cheap it's affordable really 
I do videos on them, yeah. So this is one of the cheap ones I could buy. It doesn't cost me a lot because I got to buy them on my own. So this one cost me uh, 140, 139. So I, I mod them up and, and I do different things with them and stuff like that. For one, um, they're pretty expensive, most of them. But some like this is for, it's like an entry level it's for a younger child and stuff like that. So I'm trying to make it a little faster though. But, Let's see what that did. Alright, three is time. Oh yeah. Much different animal. Right, really nice on 3S, guys. All right, after that walk of shame, I don't know if that run counts. 45. So there it is, I uh, got a top speed of 46 miles an hour on 3S with a 15 tooth pinion guys. Um, this thing came to life, super simple, two super simple upgrades, uh, the Proline body and the brushless system. I mean, really impressed with the way it drives guys for a two wheel drive uh, monster truck. Just having this uh, mid motor configuration, uh, a little bit more front and down low and having the body uh, having the battery tray at the bottom, I think really helps this vehicle drive really good for a two-wheel drive entry-level monster truck. So let's see a rip on 3S and uh, we'll wrap up the video. <laughs> having that wheelie bar really helps. Oof, almost lost it. It's wild on 3S, guys. Doesn't hold the wheelies as good as my granite does from my outcast. It's a ripper, guys. Love the body lean on it. Take it to the park. Let's see how it rips on 3S. Let's check the temps on it.
125, 126, 119, 115. Yeah, this thing's good, guys. This thing's good to go. Don't get much grip out here. Pretty good in the grass. That's it for the video guys, we're gonna cut it right here. Brushless conversion is good. Pro line body is good. Both upgrades are a success. The Gorgon is a great entry level monster truck guys. There's no question about it. Whether you pick up the 139 with no battery and charger or you need a battery and charger for 169, you can't go wrong. It drives great. It's good for an entry level two wheel drive monster truck. And uh, it's a good addition to the fleet, so. Thank you guys for watching got another new car coming up on the channel real soon so stay tuned don't forget to subscribe hit that notification bell so you never miss a video and thanks again for watching